everyone, I hope you're having a fabulous day today. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. Today I'm really excited to share a new project with you. This is my very first loaded envelope. I used a tutorial from KSP by Louisa. This was a really fun project to make, and so let's get into this project. The paper stack that I used is by Recollections. It's called Cozy Lodge. And if you saw my video last week of the trifold folio, this is the same paper stack that I used. The base of this project is created using a standard 6x9 policy envelope. As you can see, this is really loaded. Uh, there are so many elements. So let's just start here at the bottom. This lower pocket here uh, has a cute little poinsettia and the words Noel spelt out. Because of the rustic charm of this paper stack, I tried to use some really organic and nature-filled elements to really keep in line with the overall theme of this project. Uh, here is a cute little tassel. This tassel I purchased from the Target Dollar Spot and I just thought it was so fun. I hot glued on a little bell and the gift tag. Uh, here I created a little paper bow uh, using a Martha Stewart die. I love it. Uh, it's, it's just really fun and I embellished it with a little red rhinestone. On the bottom here I have a cute little star clothespin. Inside I have packed this with lots of fun goodies. Uh, these are some fun journaling cards that can be used for Christmas elements. We've got some really fun tags. I'm not going to open this up, but they're all different tags in here. And we have more journaling cards, which are really fun. On this side, I use some, I guess the traditional word would be pipe cleaners, but I just uh, wrapped them around a pen and it came out in this cute little spiral and then I glued it to the front flap of this uh, loaded envelope. Here I created a pinwheel using a Sizzix die. Uh, because this paper is uh, single sided, I actually um, doubled it with another piece of paper to get this really cute design. And again, here's that little paper bow that I used from uh, the Martha Stewart punch. I used some fun red tinsel uh, here on the bottom and just glued it to a really fun festive holiday paper straw. This rosette I created using my Cricut cartridge. It's uh, ribbons and rosettes and I just had so much fun. I just kind of paper pieced together uh, different designs from the paper and I thought it came out really fun. And this deer here is part of the ephemera pack from the Cozy Lodge collection by Recollections. Here we've got some fun stickers by Jolie. Again, keeping with the very rustic uh, Cozy Lodge feel, I thought this was a perfect complement to the collection. I created this large tag to put photos. You can actually just slip the photos right underneath these little hollies. And on the back, here's a space for a large photo. And you can stick the photo under the, the little Noel. And I embellished it with uh, red rhinestones. And then I have this really fun ribbon that I purchased from Michaels. It's I think I purchased this last year. They're Christmas trees and snowflakes. I included this cute little magnetic uh, uh, notepad. I thought it was just so fun and festive and it says season greetings. To go along with the notepad, I included some of these fun uh, pencils. These are more embellishments. These are just little cute little Christmas uh, bulbs in red and green. And we also have red rhinestones. On the back of the envelope, up here we have a cute little clothespin that's embellished. It's got 
a little gingham red and white ribbon and a star that says joy. Keeping in line with the Cozy Lodge feel, here's a, a fun little die cut um, Christmas tree ornament with a little moose. And then using the same paper collection, I created this card uh, on my Cricut. Uh, it is a swing card. You've got the poinsettia here, uh, the ribbon that I used, uh, uh, used with my Martha Stewart punch, and this deer that says Happy Holiday is from the ephemera pack. And then I've uh, layered on these cute little um, snowflakes and embellished them with red rhinestones. I just sealed the bag. This is the main construction of it. As you can see, this is really, really sturdy. Although the original envelope is not sturdy, I've got quite a few layers here. You've got the paper inside. Um, I used black as my base color and then lined the, the back side and the front side of the inner part of the envelope. And uh, again, put coordinating paper on the front and then the, fr the front cover and then the same on the back. So this is really, really sturdy. You have to make sure though that you really secure the edges. When you load these babies up, um, the front tends to go out, uh, but what you want to do is just make sure you've got some really, really good adhesive. Um, in my case, I used both the uh, uh, liquid glue as well as the sticky tape. Well, this concludes my review of my loaded envelope. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I wish you all a very happy holidays. Bye for now.